welcome to my channel. I hope you guys can hear me okay. My son is napping next door, so I'm talking a little bit quieter. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. Welcome back if you are old here. Today's video is kind of a joke because obviously you guys know I talk a whole lot about minimalism over here on this channel, but this topic kind of sprung up in my head earlier while I was getting ready for the day. So these are just gonna be some of the things that for me were some of the reasons that I almost quit our minimalism journey and just kind of wanted to give up on everything. And so I'm just gonna kind of talk about how I got through these six things and hopefully you guys can relate if you are also trying to go down a minimalism journey. I'm in no way judging anybody who chooses not to live the lifestyle that I live. Everybody's different. I hope you guys can just take this video as informational. Okay, so the number one reason that I almost quit my minimalism journey was FOMO. So if you don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out. Um, and I still, to this day, which we haven't been doing minimalism for very long, but I get FOMO. Everybody always wants the latest trends and styles, so it's easy to just get caught up in the consumerism of things and just want what everybody else has and what everybody else is doing. Um, it's kind of hard to see, like if you go to an event where there's lots of people, you may feel like you stand out because you don't have the trendiest or the latest thing, even though you feel good in what you look in and you love your wardrobe, um, you can still get caught up in um, the fear of missing out on the new and the trendy things with de home decor or clothing or the latest whatever it is. Um, that is definitely, especially if you've been doing that your whole life, can be hard to get caught up in those cycles and those trends. Um, my advice and tip here is to just remember the reason why you started the minimalism journey. Anytime you're stuck in that situation where you feel like you're missing out on something, just go back to the reason that you started this. Is it because you felt overwhelmed? Is it because you wanted to do more with your life than chasing the trends? Um, to do more with your money um, instead of trying to buy the latest thing that costs the most money um, and instead use that to go on an adventure with your family or you know whatever it is find your reason uh, because that's going to be the thing that grounds you it's going to be the thing that you're going to have to keep coming back to it can be hard especially in the world that we live in where everybody's buying the newest and latest things it's gonna be hard to be doing the abnormal thing, to be taking the road less traveled, so to say. Number two reason why I almost quit becoming a minimalist was because I didn't fit the minimalist look. When you watch documentaries, videos, and stuff, there's this kind of look um, that everybody has. You know, some people live in a tiny house. They dress in like all blacks and they only have one color in their closet, blacks, grays. Your whole house is blacks and grays. There's not a lot of color, but I don't necessarily think that's true. I don't necessarily think that everybody who wants to be a minimalist has to fit this minimalist look. Really my tip here is to just be your own person. Find what minimalism looks like to you. You know, you hear a lot of people say, find what minimalism means to you, but but sometimes it's kind of hard to think, well, what does minimalism look like for me? So in my circumstance, it looks like I can handle the cleaning. I have control over the way that my home looks. It's easy and simple to um, kind of pick up everything at the end of the day. I have a clean home. I don't struggle a whole lot finding an outfit because I don't have a lot of stuff, in my own opinion. Just find that point where it doesn't stress, like your stuff doesn't stress you out, your lifestyle doesn't stress you out. Um, it's not too much. And I think that's the point that you can call yourself a minimalist and you've kind of defined your own version of that. Number three reason why I almost quit our minimalism journey was because I have too much stuff. So this kind of goes along the same lines as what I was talking about earlier. But especially since I'm here in the presence of like a social media world, um, I've had people tell me that you have too much stuff to be a minimalist. But like I said before, define your own version of minimalism. Some people can handle more things, some people can handle less things. You may be able to handle a lot more than I can in a household. You may think, you may look at my house and think that I do have too much stuff and that there's no way you could handle that. Um, find your spot that's right in the middle of that. In my own personal opinion, yeah, maybe um, 12 plates would be too much for my family, um, but four plates would be not enough. 
So you're just gonna have to stop listening to everybody who says that you can't be a minimalist because you have too much stuff and then find that just enough spot for you and or your family. Number four reason why I almost quit my minimalism journey was because my family and friends think I'm crazy. Now, this really isn't totally true. My family and my friends have always been very supportive of me. You know, you get those looks like you're a minimalist. Um, don't the, aren't those people kind of crazy? Like they don't, they live in like a little shack. They don't have a lot of furniture. Um, <laughs> you know, they only have one cup of coffee that they drink out of. Um, they only have one bowl, one spoon, like no. Like sometimes I think the word minimalist is interpreted to mean you just don't have a lot of stuff and it's this miserable life for you um, just to live with absolutely nothing. I think once you start down the path and you can kind of show and explain to your family what minimalism looks like to you, um, then they might become more on board with it the further along the road you go. Um, even though some people may not truly understand, um, it's important that you explain um, your goals and where you want your family to be so that they can help you along that journey. It's also not anybody's job to tell you what you can and cannot do. Um, that's really up to you. That is no reason to quit minimalism just because your family and your friends tell you it's crazy. <laughs> the number five reason that I almost quit being a minimalist is that it didn't fix any of my problems. <laughs> I was super stressed out and I still am a stressful person. I like to be a control freak. I like to control things. I'm super overwhelmed and minimalism has taken a lot of the edge off of that. I don't think you should put all your hopes and your dreams into one thing to help fix your problems. Like, if you put all of your efforts into minimalism and you don't put any effort into your self-care, um, then you're probably going to have some issues. Minimalism is just a tool and a means to get somewhere and it's not like the end-all, be-all, fix everything. So don't think of it like that. Don't think that minimalism is just gonna magically fix all of the problems in your life. It might help fix a lot of issues, but you're gonna have to do the legwork in helping to make yourself a better person and helping to make your life better. Um, and that's gonna include a lot of different tools and minimalism being one of those tools. The last one, number six reason why I almost quit being a minimalist was because my house isn't always clean. We have decluttered so much of our stuff. And if I think back on it, I my house stays way, way cleaner and less messy than it used to. I, we still have toys everywhere. We still have dishes in the sink. We still sometimes don't wipe off our dining room table after my son spills oatmeal in the morning. It might not get wiped off till 3 p.m. Life is just busy, especially if you have children. Um, life is just, it's busy. It's going to be busy. Your house is not always going to be perfect. And that is because you are a normal human being and messes are okay. And if you're okay with the messes and you know that it's easy to clean up, then that is the way that it should be. It shouldn't be this perfectly pristine, baseboards are always wiped clean of dust and windows are never have smudges on them. And you know, it's just, it's minimalism isn't perfectly clean, organized, everything, nothing gets messy all the time, house. Being a minimalist and having a minimalist home just means that I can clean it up a whole lot easier and it doesn't overwhelm me as much as it used to when we were not living a minimalist lifestyle. So I hope this video gave you guys some good information and something to think about. I would love it if you would comment below. I like to chat with you guys down there. Join me live on Mondays at 11.30 if you want to for our premiere. And I apologize for not having a video out last week. I kind of had like a writer's block for for YouTube. So um, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and um, posting videos and um, creating content. If you have any ideas for me, I'd love to know. Message me on Instagram or comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate you guys so much and spending a little part of your day um, with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh,